After a big adventure or trip, do you find yourself getting back exhausted? Fresh from my trip taking the van up to visit Amanda and Frank, I hit a wall. Then, life in the van got a little bit harder, with the winter snow finally starting. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Flossie, and for some reason, I just keep pulling myself up by the brute straps and getting back on the bike to face another day with my partner in crime, Siren the Step Van, my tiny house on wheels. But you know what? We don't have to do this alone. You're here. Join me as we find beauty in the cold, wet outdoors. Doing a fun little reconnaissance mission today. Checking out a local logging road and looking and marking on the map camp spots and logging roads that are accessible by a van so that I can come back and in the future plan camping trips. Oh. Wishing all of you a happy new year and I hope you find yourself in gorgeous places and doing things that you love. coping very well and needed something to distract me, cheer me up, kind of hold the tenderness of my heart as one does with breakups. It's hard and to prevent oneself sinking into a deep wallow of despair, doing something or making something often really helps. So I made this octopus hat. This is the third one I have made. I gave away another one on my channel last year to one of you beautiful subscribers of how you can win this hat either subscribing to my Instagram and commenting on post, making sure you follow. And if you don't have Instagram, my newsletter or sending me an email, um, my, all of those details are in the description box below, including the instructions on how to enter the giveaway. I'm so excited. I'll post it to you wherever you are. Go. This is so exciting. I love cooking and roasting veggies this way. I love my little cast irons. This pantry sits at the bottom of my drawers in my uh, kitchen counters. Uh, the pantry items often get quite cold, which is good for preserving things. Less great for keeping olive oil liquid. So it sometimes like slightly solidifies and I stick it by the fire to warm up. Anyway, I'm really loving this torchlight. It's beautiful and ambient and this whole place looks so cozy and you get to feel how cozy it feels for me in here and I'm really grateful for that. It's like a drip every couple seconds, and I have, oh, I just noticed a spider going back to its home. Okay, hi. Good morning, everybody. Last night, we had some of the craziest windstorms, craziest windstorms I've seen in a long time up to 60 kilometers an hour gust of winds like severe several trees came down and this is not a very populated area but there is power out here but there is no cell phone signal and the tr there was big trees coming down many big trees and they actually took out some of the power lines which was crazy 
Um, so I'm lucky because I have all my power right here. I am still self-sustainable. I can survive. All the houses were either on generators or dark, which is freaky. But what I wanted to say is with every storm, there's kind of like this afterwards gift from nature. Beautiful blue skies. And then there's lots of trees down. And because there's a river near here, there are a lot of cottonwood trees or poplar trees. And I use cottonwood and poplar to make poplar salve. And I picked up some trash along the river and then absolutely filled it with these poplar buds. And sometimes I think, oh, wouldn't it be so nice to do some of my foraging and harvesting with friends and groups of people? But then I enjoy being by myself. Maybe other people wouldn't find this as fun and exciting as I do. Um, yeah, I hope to find community who are like locally who like doing this kind of thing. But what a gift. This is probably a whole jar. I'm going to get some glass jars. I'm going to give it a little wash because it's a little bit dirty and sandy. Dry these all out and then put them in a jar and immerse them in olive oil and probably soak them for a year um, with like a paper towel on top so it can get rid of the moisture inside of it. But this will turn into poplar salve. I add be beeswax into it and it's this beautiful thing. I often this sits for a year. I let mine sit for a year. Other people don't, but let me show you. So, in here is a jar of salve. And so it is so soft and just buttery, buttery, creamy. Oh, and it's turned this deep orange color because of all the bright red sap that comes out of these buds. And normally one would pick these in like, January, February, and it's, oh no, it is, <laughs> okay, February, March, it is January right now, so trees are starting to bud, yes, I don't feel like we've had proper winter yet, because we are expecting a cold snap next week, and it hasn't happened yet, normally it would have been below zero for a while already, but wow, look at all of that, I'm so excited, so I need to clean them, dry them, Actually, I won't put them in this jar. I might just put them in this jar. And then fill it with olive oil. Olive oil, it's so simple. Olive oil, poplar, buds, beeswax, time, and effort. Oh, I love nature, I love it, it's so magical. And the sun is out. Finally, sunshine. The silence of snow, no breath of wind, no gleam of sun, still the white snow whirls softly down, twig and bough, and blade and thorn, all in icy, quiet, forlorn, whispering, rustling, through the air, on still and stone, roof, everywhere, and heaps its powdery, crystal flakes on every tree a mountain makes oh so beautiful
beautiful. Till pale and faint at shut of day, stoops from the west one wintry ray. And feathered in fire where ghosts in the moon, a robin shrills his lonely tune. Oh my gosh, this is perfect octo hat weather to be nice and cozy and warm with my hat. Like, it's beautiful. So gorgeous out there. I love this. This is toasty and warm. It is a nice synthetic and wool hat. Ah, perfect, exactly what this hat was made for. And I'm so glad I have it. And I can't wait to send one of my octo hats to one of you too. We've been expecting snow for a while. It is finally here. <sighs> Yay for diesel heater and fireplace to keep this place warm and toasty. It's so great. Oh, well, time to put some gloves on and do some chores. I have animals to feed and some outdoor stuff to do. Um, and then some computer work for the rest of the day. Yay! <laughs> Hopefully I will get the drone up later to show you some of the beautiful snow covered trees because I think it's going to be gorgeous. There's not actually that much snow. this to make outdoor fun possible. Oh, so great. Sometimes, though, living in a van in the middle of winter in the Pacific Northwest of Canada isn't all it's cracked up to be. It's cold. We haven't seen the real sun for ages because our skies are so grey and overcast. And that takes a toll on my mental health. I feel more recluse and hermity, depressed. The seasonal darkness holding me somewhat captive in my van. So I am very cautious. I now have full motorbike gear and a helmet. I mean, I had the helmet, but pants make a difference. And we are going to go alongside these beautiful mountain cliffs and go that way. Come with me as we head this way. I put my glasses back on as they fogged up. <laughs> I couldn't go any further that way because it's definitely a footpath. I can either get, get off the bike and walk it, but my glasses are all fogging up. So I'm going to go back and then keep going that way because there was another trail. There is one this way, but people look like they're purposely blocking it off. Oh, look where we are now. 
Wow. And this is a kind of dead end. Look at that water. It's beautiful. And see all the way to the bottom. Very clean. And that beautiful view. I'm going to follow this path up a little bit, see if I can get a little bit higher and then I think I'll fly the drone because we're up so high. I think it'll be really beautiful and maybe we can see some of the other paths and trails from the sky. Dude, there's so many trails. Like I like four that meet there and I'm like which one did I take oh this is so cool Radio. so I've had a nice stop for a pee break and a stretch of my legs get my hips back in order and I can really see that the clouds are sucking in I'm quite high up here you can see a little bit over to the mountains here now but I don't want to get sucked in. I've got to keep an eye on the time because for two reasons, it's going to get dark in an hour and a half. Um, and I only have a limited amount of power on my battery and I need to be able to get back to my van. I left the fire going so it will be nice and toasty warm when I get back. And I have to remember how to get out of here. Only a small percentage of the trails are actually marked on the map. Um, so hopefully I don't need that to get out of here. But I'm going to head back that way. There was a couple other uh, Y things back there that I would like to explore. But I must say, I was feeling so restless. And there's something about having a little bit of an adrenaline rush, getting outside, <sighs> seeing some trees being off of my screen that has just lifted me a little bit um i am regularly taking vitamin d and exposing myself to a full spectrum light and i've really noticed last week i spent two days in probably the deepest pits of despair uh, and then i switched the light on and in the morning for 20 minutes for the next three days and my mood was just so drastically different and I track my hormone levels, so it wasn't anything to do with that. Um, and I just can't believe like something so small. And I started taking more magnesium, so I think that's also helped. So yeah, seasonal depression for me is a really big thing. I talk about it every year. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's not. You get a little flavor of how I'm feeling in each video. When I'm around other people and doing fun adventures, I have a great time. But what happened this past week is I got back from some really fun times and crashed. Part of it because I hadn't been getting enough sleep, I'd been doing so much, my body actually needed to rest. But there's something about coming back from an adventure or a trip or having something looked, looking forward to something for so long, then gone and done it and then come back to normal routine. And then just this slump that happens afterwards. So be gentle on yourselves right now. Be kind and gentle. We've got this and we can get through it. There's only in like three or four more months and in a few weeks it'll be the summer solstice which will be great no the winter solstice oh my god so summer solstice is in my head because I grew up in the southern hemisphere December 21st would be the summer solstice ah it's the winter solstice <sighs> my body's all turned around maybe that's part of it 
tiny, tiny droplets. Oh no, back that way. I think I came this way. Because I know it was super steep. Yes. Pretty sure. Yes, okay, great. This is the bit that I forgot to film on the way up. It was gnarly. And you can see, look, even there's ice and snow on it. Okay, let's just try this. Dee 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 dee. Dee 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 dee. Oh, yeah, much better. Okay. Great. Okay. Decided to turn around. There's an obstruction up here. The path is narrowing. It is gorgeous. But I have to keep an eye on my battery percentage and the sky, the clouds, the darkness. Keep going. Oh, I was just thinking about how I have the camera here and it would be so nice if you could also see my face at the same time. But I only have one GoPro. And I don't know, join my Patreon if you want to see two GoPros. We'll have to fund it together. Um, my face when I'm so like going down here, I'm like, ah, ee, ooh, ooh. And then also I looked at this because there's a little thing here, which I try not to look at. I try to look at you guys directly in the lens, but this makes my face look all chubby. Anyway, safety third, let's go. Oh, I love having an electric bike. I never thought that I would take up off-road mountain biking, but electric mountain biking. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below. I will give some of this content to my Patreons in advance because y'all are amazing and I like to surprise you and share a bit more of the current things I'm excited about. <coughs> oh wow, look up there. Do you see that? Because... Whoa, puddles, okay. Stay in the middle, stay in the middle, stay in the middle. Tree branches, don't, don't fall. Okay, people might get in there. Whoa! 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 Shit! Okay, maybe they used to get in there, but that's been blocked. Whoa, crash. Nearly had an accident. Okay, I wasn't looking where I was going. Okay, All right, I'm back to the street. I have 53% battery, so I probably could have kept going. It took way less time to come out than it did go in. I've had a great time. I think I'm gonna take this gnarly road entrance exit very carefully and head back to the van. I am thirsty and hungry. Warm 
in here. Yay! Oh, I need to pee. Thank you all so much for coming along with me on this wintry adventure. Seasonal depression is a roller coaster ride for me, with its equally high moments as well as its low ones. I'm so excited to give away this year's Octo Hat to one of you all as a huge thank you for the support and community that is built here over the last three years. Just wow. And more than anything, a huge thank you to my Patreons. I've got some exciting stuff coming up for you soon and you all help make this possible. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all here and I can't wait to see you all in the comments below. Until next week, bye.